welcome back to this video again. Uh, in the series of uh, videos on Wi-Fi connecting with uh, es 2 uh, we'll go and have a look into like uh, how can we connect to the best available Wi-Fi. So there are scenarios like you may have multiple SSIDs or multiple routers and then uh, your device may be moving across the places. So you want to you want to have your es 2 connecting to the best Wi-Fi that is the one having the highest strength, uh, the one having the highest uh, uh, reception signal, right? How do you do this? Like, how do you uh, go ahead and have multiple different societies been added to it, and then the ESP32 goes ahead and chooses the one which is uh, having the highest strength? Let's have a look into it. So, uh, the thing which we require for this is again uh, quick hardware that is uh, uh, same ESP32 I require it. So, I have with me here. So, let's get into it and then see how can we uh, get this done. So, here we go. And if we just have a look again here quickly, uh, we just have the Wi Fi library out here, then I have defined the uh, or uh, SSID. So I have uh, stored at like um, three different SSIDs out here. So we have three different SSIDs and three different password for you. So this is how you're going to also uh, store multiple Wi-Fi if you have to. So that we have seen in the earlier video also. Okay, like how can we have multiple different Wi-Fi's? We have a Wi-Fi and these are the Wi-Fi names we have. So this is the Wi-Fi SSID. And this is a password for the same. And these are another SSID. And these are password for the same out here. So the number of networks are three out here. Starting the cell communication is eleven five to eleven zero. I'm defining, I'm calling one function here that is invoking one function called connect to best Wi-Fi which is being defined here. So here I'm defining two things that is uh, two integers, one is the best signal strength, another one is the best network index. So the best signal strength is uh, like given a value of minus 100 and the best network index is value of minus 1. Then what I'm just doing is like uh, setting the mode to the station mode out there, disconnecting the Wi-Fi at the starting and then uh, with 100 milliseconds I'm just printing the number of uh, networks found, like the total number of uh, network which is like, found by the ESP32 out here. In, uh, so how do we do it? Uh, we call up the scan networks function from the Wi-Fi library out there and we get that to be. And what I'm just doing is I'm simply iterating over the list and checking the signal strength of each of the network which is being found out here. So I'm just uh, going ahead with the number of networks, iterating that and then number of networks found and incrementing it. So what I'm just doing is uh, creating the SSID and uh, uh, the SSID name out here followed by the RSI. RSSI is nothing but the uh, receive signal uh, strength indicator. Okay, so RSSI is receive signal strength indicator. I'm just storing that in a signal strength, and then I'm just printing that full network plus string SSID plus signal strength plus this one, and we're good to go ahead, right? So we are getting all of these things being done. The, and then, oh, uh, like signal. Whatever, whenever the signal strength is uh, greater than the best signal strength, what I'm just doing is getting the best signal strength to that signal strength, and uh, uh, setting that best signal strength to the I. So what is happening then was like based on that I'm connecting to that best network which I have out there with me. So calling the same best network index which I have it out there that is index no one or two whatever we have it and the password the best network index okay and then I'm just trying to go ahead and then connect to the Wi-Fi and doing the connection to the Wi-Fi and whatever the thing is going to have it else no network match found that is if any of these networks been defined here is not found I'm just going ahead and printing that let me upload this quick code out there and then have a look at it like uh, how exactly it is uh, giving me this thing. Meanwhile, uh, I hope the hardware is the same what, what we have with this. I have my uh, ESP32 with me out there, same ESP32 I'm using it. And this should go ahead and then help me get this thing done. This is really, really very important and this concept really works well when you have uh, like moving, like you know that like you might be in this room or you might be in that room or you might be in this room, you have multiple different homes or multiple different places or Locations and you have uh, like you just want to have some of those SIDs being stored. So this is going to really uh, work out well. It's going to like choose automatic, automatically choose whichever the, is the best one. It's going to get connected to the best network available to it. So it's time for uh, the truth. Like if it is working out there and so on. So let's get into it and see if it works. So we go back here and I'll just open my. Okay, I can see uh, my signal. Okay, I'll just open my monitor from here and we go. Let's just do one thing. I'll just uh, reset this so that I can see starting. So I just reset this and uh, we'll go back here. So it has to go ahead and print me the available Wi Fi's and this uh, thing. It has found two things one is Ahmed and one is Aliman. So these two things are there. And uh, Aliman is having the minus 44 dBm and this is having minus 43 dBm. So the lower the better, right? So it connected for it got connected to the Ahmed out there. I think so the other one which I gave uh, that is nothing but this one. I think so this is uh, uh, something is wrong. Might be this Wi-Fi is wrong or something is wrong. So might be the credentials are wrong. 
and that's the reason it's not really mentioning that but it works it works very amazingly fine and uh let's get into it and uh, yeah so hopefully you enjoyed this thing and you got to know like in simple how can you uh give multiple different wi-fi's and then connect to the best wi-fi available out there